what up y'all today we got the three r primo new solids they got uh r primo hit me up on uh, instagram and let me know they were going to send me these to review so good looking out on that always appreciate uh r primo sending over good stuff for me to check out really do so we got the three colors the gold the aqua and the ruby red yeah, yeah. so let's check them out so with these three new additions to the Art Primo Solid family, they now have 12 colors and two metallics available for y'all to choose from. I think rather than writing with them all straight up, I'm gonna split the ruby red and the gold and make a 49er split and probably just rock the aqua on its own, mainly because I don't think I have another Art Primo Solid right now. But Art Primo did just put out a new splitter tool, so watch this video and give it some likes so I can afford to get the splitter and some smash ink sooner. All right, so I did want to take some time to talk about this Art Primo solid lid and why I'm not the hugest fan of it. Although I do like that it makes this snap so that you know that it's closed, that part I do like. But the part of the lid that I'm not digging is really just the inside of this cap. So you got your solid rolled out and you're getting tagged, right? Then you got to put it back away, but it's rolled out. So you just end up smushing it all up inside the lid. So you got to make sure you roll it down every time before you put that lid back on. But sometimes the paint doesn't want to roll back down because we split it and it's no longer connected to that plastic piece. And in this game of graffiti where every second counts, if someone comes walking around that corner and you can't put that marker away in time, then that can be the difference between having problems and not. I actually noticed this problem some years ago, way back when Sharpie first started making these Bean Streak solids. We used to call them the Chunkies back then. Because if anybody else used them around that time, you remember that you'd have to be really, really gentle with them or big ass chunks of paint would straight up fall off in the middle of your tag. And Sharpie did end up fixing the problem, but it was back then when I first noticed that these lids that were like a new style that had that nipple shape on the inside and that it just didn't let you put the lid on when the streak was all the way rolled out. But these original Sakura style lids are completely hollow, which gives you all this extra room so you can have your streaker rolled out and ready to go. If our Primo could change these lids in a way that was hollowed out so you can have your streaker rolled all the way out and still put the lid on, that would be really good. And especially right now since they just put out the splitter for the streakers. So imagine you get like a bunch or you want to make an eight color streak. So you're going to cut them all up and put them in here. So chances are none of them are going to roll down because none of them are connected to that plastic. So I think it would be a good idea to have a lid that lets you have the streak rolled out. But that's just my two cents on the lid, not the marker itself. The marker by itself is already a winner, but I'm just talking about the lid. So here's this tool that I found and used a couple times. It's meant to chop up slices of clay for homemade jewelry, but I use it because the blade's thin and it's pretty sharp. Yeah, so like I said, I'm using the ruby and the gold to make a four-way 49er split and just probably gonna rock the aqua on its own. All right then y'all, so let's start chopping it up.
Vader. 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 So this is what I'm talking about, y'all. You got your streaker rolled up, you're getting tags, right? But rolling it back down, we got no action. It rolls up just fine, but the streak's not retracting. So you try putting the cap back on and you can feel that you're gonna end up smashing the solid paint because of this nipple shape inside of the lid. So now what? I just have to push the solid down by hand every time? And if so, then what's that mean for getting paint on my hands? So like I said, Maybe just consider hollowing out the inside of the lid to avoid this issue because it's already a really good design. But if we can just improve this lid, I really believe that the AP solid can become a classic marker.
Jakes. B, 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 B. The dead. Thank you.